Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Cole and JBL here at ringside welcoming you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, I got top billing tonight. I like it. Keep it up. Well, what can I say? These Minneapolis fans have got me in such a great mood. I'm feeling especially generous tonight. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, one mistake, and we're going to see that fire put out pronto. He saw that one coming. These superstars get everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. And for a lot of guys, their WWE career is their life. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you... Oh, no, he's looking for a weapon. This could cause a serious injury. Edge is so quick and so deadly, you can't take your eyes off of him for a second. And that's doubly true if you're the referee. I don't think Edge has ever met a rule he wouldn't break. No shame in that. If you don't get caught, it's not cheating. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long, and the dead man's been there for a long, long time. That might be true, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. And even, my God, how is a human body supposed to withstand that kind of impact? Well, if you keep getting hit like that, you don't. Plain and simple. Oh. <laughs> He's looking for his finisher. He got it. Execution. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. You can't let that break your focus, but that's easier said than done. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I Whoever loses this fight's going to have a long fall in their immediate future. I don't think there's anything Edge wouldn't do to get what he wants, and that's what I like about it. That's funny, because that's exactly what I can't stand about Edge. He might be a great competitor, but he's a lousy human being. So you're telling me 
You'd rather watch a guy who does everything by the book and cares more about the rules than about winning? I'd rather watch a superstar who had some sense of sportsmanship, some sense of decency, yes. How can you applaud a man who doesn't care about anyone but himself? Because those are the guys who... And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. Who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Oh, my God! He smashed his opponent right through the table! I think we might be looking at the future of the WWE in this ring tonight. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. This is a great match, and the fans are definitely into it. And that's what really matters. If the WWE fans aren't happy, they'll let you know it. He's just brutalizing his opponent with that table. Well, I guess it's better than being put through a table, but not much. Half of The Undertaker's style is about getting inside his opponent's head. If you can keep your cool in the ring with him, you got a chance. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man. You can't forget about that. Of course you can't. The man's a legend. That's why I didn't bother mentioning it. Night after night, the WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing. I don't even like to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you got to be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually ever step between those ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match is incredibly short-sighted. You know, I'm going to replace you with somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Carlito. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. That was a textbook reversal. What a jerk. How about a little less posing and a little more action? Give it a rest. There's nothing wrong with getting inside your opponent's head like this. No superstar in the locker room can afford to ignore the WWE fans. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to. <sighs> Just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Oh. Nice oh. one. I always thought there were too many rules in this business oh. anyway. Well, I personally was looking forward to a clean, competitive matchup.
You can find all sorts of weapons under that ring. Nice quick counter there. Oh my, look at the blood just pouring down his face. <laughs> I love it when these superstars just go in there and beat the living hell out of each other. I don't know that I'd agree with that. I hate to see a superstar risk a serious injury like this. He's showing absolutely no respect for his opponent. Yeah, and his opponent isn't doing anything about it. What does that tell you? Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, an injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Edge is such a jerk. I'm amazed that he still has a job on Raw after some of the stuff he's pulled. Maybe Edge doesn't have the best attitude in the world, but he is a heck of a competitor, no doubt about it. That may be true, but I'm not a fan of the way he's been winning his matches lately. And I don't think these fans are either. A vicious series of head slams straight into our announce table. That will leave your head ringing long after the match is over. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Did you see that? What a desperate maneuver. You know what they say, it's all legal till you get caught. The crowd makes a huge difference whether they're for you or against you. The Undertaker's got an impressive history here in WWE, but you're only as good as your last match. How can you say that? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. Undertaker is there. There's the cover. One, two, three. Here is your winner and the new custom belt champion and